Welcome back to episode 6 of Classic Gaming Quarterly TV. Today I'm doing a roundup of baseball games for the Neo Geo. There are three baseball games on the Neo Geo platform, including Baseball Stars Professional, 2020 Super Baseball, and Baseball Stars 2. And today I'm going to show you why I think you need all three of them if you have a Neo Geo. Winners may not do drugs, but it'd be a lot cheaper than playing Neo Geo. The Neo Geo Home Console was released in 1990, and when you bought it, you could choose either NOM 1975 or this game, Baseball Stars Professional, to be included with it. I think that as a 12-year-old back then, I would have chosen NOM 1975, but at my age and wisdom level now, I would have gone with this game. I really love how when you select your game mode, these two chicks bow to you and say thank you. Thank you. All the teams have themes, and all the players have names appropriate to those themes. So for instance, the team Celestial Bodies has players like Saturn and Jupiter and Eo. And my favorite team, the American Dreams, has players like Babe and Joe and Pete, who are of course Babe Ruth and Joe DiMaggio and Pete Rose. Change. This guy doing the play-by-play -play calls a game with all the enthusiasm and gusto of a golf announcer. It's a well-hit ball, that should be in there for a single. It's 360 yards to the hole on this dogleg left par 4. It's out of here! It's a homer out of here! The and as he rounds the bases, he loves to egg that crowd on. And proud he should be. He hit that ball a country mile. He just loves to hit homers here in this park. And the manager Time. calls time out as he wants to take another look at the situation. As with most baseball games, fielding can get tricky. Here's what happens when your first baseman tries to throw to first instead of just running over there. One or two of the teams are even made up of ladies, and they react about as expected when they strike out. The announcer gets a little bit passive aggressive when talking about the manager. And there's a timeout Time. called by the manager. I wonder what the problem is this time. Hey, take it easy there, spark plug. Who put salt in your Kool-Aid? You're out. Baseball Stars Professional is definitely the most vanilla of the three games, but it's my go-to game when I just want to chill out in my chair with a beer in my hand and play a basic game of baseball. Both teams played awfully tough that last inning. Hang on to your hats as we begin the next. 2020 Super Baseball was released the following year and is a definite departure in the series. It still retains the themed teams and same basic gameplay mechanic and button configuration but changes a lot of things based on its futuristic style that makes this a whole new game. The only foul territory is behind the infield, and a ball is only a home run if hit to center field. If the ball's hit out of play anywhere else, it actually bounces back into play. And it's not a baseball, it's a cyber egg. Mr. Excitement doesn't make a return to call play-by-play -play in this game, but if he did, I imagine it would sound something like this. It's a well-hit ball that should be in there for a single. Here you can see what would normally be a foul ball, as it goes out of play, bounces off some sort of glass that's over the crowd, and comes back into play. One of the things that's cool about this game is that every time you do something good, you actually earn money. But if you do something bad, you're docked money. And between innings, it shows you the total amount of money that you have, which you can then use to power up players in the middle of the game. After the first couple innings, the game randomly distributes landmines, which it calls crackers, in the outfield. You'll also notice around the periphery of the field of play that there are jump zones, and what these do is allow defenders to jump higher than normal up into the air to catch a ball that was headed out. These are both really awesome features, and I wish they came into play more often during the course of the game. This is the only shot I was able to get of a player hitting the cracker. Up. 
I'm able to fairly frequently trap a base runner in a pickle. As you'll see here, the batter tried to stretch a single into a double and got caught. It's a homer out of here. The crowd is going crazy. As he rounds the bases, he loves to egg that crowd on, and proud he should be. He hit that ball a country mile. Baseball Stars 2 may have more refined graphics, but this game's a lot more colorful, and in my opinion, it's the best looking game in the series. Twenty Twenty Super Baseball is definitely the quirkiest of the three games, and that's its strength. When you want to play baseball, but you want to play something a little bit different, this is the game you're going to reach for. Baseball Stars 2 was released the following year. It's most people's favorite, and it's easy to see why. It's the most refined game in the series, and it's a lot of fun, but becomes less so once you figure out the key to beating the game. As is the case with the other two games, pitchers get fatigued over time and have to be relieved. Each team only has four pitchers, so you want to get the other team to go through its pitchers as quickly as possible by working the pitch count, or more awesomely, punching the other pitcher in the face. Doing so immediately fatigues that pitcher, and he's either replaced, or if you're lucky enough, it's the fourth pitcher and he has to stay in there and throw softballs for the rest of the game. The to get your batter hit by the pitch, you just want to position him on the inside of the plate and hope for an inside pitch. If your batter is powered up, there's a 100% chance he's going to charge the mound and punch the pitcher. If not, it's just a random chance thing. In this game, Chuckles gets a lot more excited when something good happens, so obviously somebody sat him down and had a talk with him. In this sequence, I get three batters in a row hit by a pitch. All three of them punch the pitcher in the face, which doesn't matter because they're on their last pitcher anyway, and then my inning gets ended on a triple play because I wasn't paying attention to my base running. Once your base runners reach the next base, it's impossible to recall them, so that's what happened to me here. In my opinion, Baseball Stars 2 unfairly overshadows the other two games in the series, but that doesn't mean it isn't awesome. It would also be my first choice if I was looking for a good two-player game. 
All three of these games have something to offer, so it's impossible to put any of them above the others. Oh, it's hot in here.